Hello and welcome, I'm Dave. Today it's time for a Django student challenge. And I'll provide links to all resources in the description below. I'll also provide a link for you to join my Discord server where you can discuss web development with other students and you can ask questions that I can answer and receive help from other viewers too. I look forward to seeing you there. We've learned a lot in the first six lessons of this Django series, and today it's time for a student challenge. In lesson two of the series, we learned about Django apps, and we added a posts app to our Django project. We also learned about templates. You may want to review that lesson before today's challenge. Today, I want to challenge you to add a users app to our Django project, just like we did with the posts app. You will also need to create one template and name it register.html. And you can see that's what I've got open on the web page right now. And at the URL users slash register is where you should find this. So if you complete the challenge correctly, you should also be able to navigate to users slash register and see your register.html template. It's always good to apply the skills you've learned, but no worries if you get stuck. So if you don't want to see the solution, you should pause the video now because the solution is coming up next. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. You may be surprised to learn that three out of every four viewers, nearly 75% of all people who watch my channel aren't subscribed. So I just wanted to take a quick second and remind you to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you really like my videos, you can get exclusive content and support my channel even more by joining my Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Gray. Thanks for your consideration, and now back to the video. I've got VS Code open, and I'm ready to go over the solution to today's challenge. I hope you did well. So let's start by opening a terminal, which is what we usually do. Of course, then we type source.venv slash scripts slash activate, and press enter to start our virtual environment. From there, we also need to cd into the my project directory, and we're ready to get started with the code. So before we close the terminal window, we want to create our new app called users. We're already in the my project directory and we can open that over here in the file tree. And here we see the post directory that was created when we created the posts app. So we should see a directory for users after we create the users app. Let's do that by typing pi manage.py and then we wanna type start app and then the name of the app, so users. I'll press enter, that should get created, and now we see a users directory over here in the file tree as well. Now we can go ahead and close the terminal window for now, and let's open up this my project directory. This is the parent directory, of course, for our project, and it has the master settings. We need to tell it about the users app, so let's go to the settings.py file, and we should be able to scroll down until we see installed apps. And if you remember, this is where we added posts before. So now we need to add users under installed apps. And I'll put a comma after that also, and go ahead and save. Now let's close the my project directory in the file tree. Well, not the main one, I guess, the one underneath. There we go. Let's open up the post directory so we can get a look at this urls.py that we already have here, because we wanna create something like this in the users directory that we just created for the users app. So what I'm going to do is click somewhere in the file and control A to select all, and then control C to copy all, because I'm going to paste this into the new file that I create, and then just delete a few things and change a few things. We'll go a little faster that way. So now I'm going to open this users directory. Notice there is no urls.py in here. So we need to create that file. It's going to be urls.py. Now I'm going to paste in what we gathered from the posts app, and we can just change a couple of things. The imports are the same. The app name is going to be users, not posts. And then for patterns, we're only going to have one path here. So I'll delete the one with the slug. And now for this path, we want to go to a register location. So this is going to be register slash. And now let's change the views.post list to views register underscore view, and let's change the name here to register also. Now, of course, you didn't have to have this exact name. This is what I'm naming, 
We'll just see if it all works the same as your solution. And now we need to go back to the My Project directory. Let's open that back up and go back to the urls.py that is in the My Project directory, and we'll scroll down to the URL patterns. Notice we included a path here for the posts in the URL patterns, because again, this is kind of the parent for all the other apps that we add to the project. So it needs to know about all of these. So what I'm going to do is click on line 27, you see here that has the post URLs. I'm just going to press Shift Alt and the down arrow to copy that down. Now we wanna do the same thing here for our users app. So I'm going to put users slash, and here I'm going to have users.urls. And you can see I've got a little red text here at the top that's telling me something is wrong as well as a little red here to the right. What has happened is I forgot to put a comma after I copied that line down. So after I do that, everything's good and we can save the file. Now let's close up that My Project directory again because it gets a little long over here. And let's go back to the urls.py that we created and notice we referenced a view here, register view. We haven't created that yet, so we need to go to our views.py file and create this function that we mentioned here, which is register underscore view. So let's click on views.py. Now notice Django has already imported render at the top, so we can just create our view function underneath the comment that says create your views here. So we'll start off with def, and then we named it register underscore view, and then it's going to receive request. And then inside of this function, we return, and then we want render, and then we have the request as the first param. After that, we're going to have users slash register.html. Now we haven't created that register.html template yet, but we will. Okay, let's save these changes in the views.py file. And now I'm going to highlight users, the users directory here in the file tree, just so I know I'm creating the directory where I want to. I'm going to click new directory up here at the top. Then I'm going to create a templates directory. Then inside of templates, I'm going to create another directory named users once again. And this is following the same pattern that we did for posts. So if I open up posts, we see templates. If I open up templates, we see posts. And then we have our templates. I'm doing the same thing here. We've got users, templates, users, and then in this users directory is where I'm going to put our register template. So this is register.html. Now, once again, to make things go a little quicker, I'm going to open up that post directory and look at our post page template here. It's extending the layout that we've previously created. So it pulls that in along with that static formatting like our CSS and then it has the layout of the page. So once again, I'm going to click in the file, Control A to select all, Control C to copy all of that. Now I'll close up the post directory and come down to our register.html and Control V is what pastes all of that in. Now here, I'm just going to change a few things. So the title, I'm going to delete out of here and I'm just going to type in register a user. And then of course, we don't have all of the things that we see down here in the content block either. So I could just delete all of this for now because all you saw on my example page was an H1 that also said, register a new user, close out that H1 and save our template. Okay, hopefully we don't have any mistakes. I'm going to open the terminal back up. Then I'm going to type pi and then manage.py and run server. And this should start our server on port 8000. So far, so good. I'll, I'll hold down the control key and then click this URL to launch this in the browser. Now I'll pull this up and we're looking at our home page. This is what I expected to see first. Now after this, let's see if we can go to the slash users slash register slash page, press enter and we have register a new user. So everything worked as expected. This is fairly large though, so let's make one change. I'm going to come back in here and we're going to go to our static directory that we have, top level, here it is. Let's go to the CSS and make a quick change. Let's make the H1 just a little smaller, maybe the same size as the H2. So I'm just going to put H1 comma H2, save our CSS. Now they'll be the same size, which is fine. We just need that semantic difference if we don't mind them being the same size. So I'm going to hold down the shift key because sometimes if you just refresh, 
you might get the same static content you had before. But if I hold down shift and refresh, it should serve a new page. And now register a new user is smaller. I can click these other links and everything else still looks good too. So very nice. Now I don't have a link to that register a new user yet, but I can use the back button and get all the way back there. So I hope you completed this challenge and I hope my solution helped you through any sticking points. Hey guys, I recently started a Patreon and I'm already giving shout outs to Holy Coder, who is a progress provider and Eldad who joined at the senior member level. Also shout outs to all of the junior members that have joined. Thank you all so much. You're helping me reach my goals. And if you haven't joined, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Gray. I've got exclusive content there that you won't find on YouTube, and I've also got early release content. Hope to see you there. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection, and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you, and thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day, and let's write more code together very soon.